Welcome viewers to Softy Demi, a project control and engineering software academy. I am going to tell you about how can we assign multiple activities to some specific WBS. As I have created WBS from Excel to Primavera P6 in my last video. Now in this video, I will load maximum activities under a specific each specific WBS. This video is going to be very interesting. Don't miss any second. Here we go. So here we have created WBS you have seen in last video. Now we'll continue from there. These are the WBS which we have imported from Excel to Primavera P6. Now I will import bulk activities, multiple activities under specific WBS. Here I will go in the activities. I will add an activity first step. New activity have been added. Now I will export this program on the desktop. I will go here. I will just go and spreadsheet XLS activities. Next, export, next. Now we will create, we will create a new template add here. We will say that activity and we will add here only activity ID, activity status, WBS code and activity name. No other column needed. Okay, next. We want to save that on desktop. Next, finish. So that file has been saved on my desktop. Now I need all this value. I have just created the file in which I have all uh, assigned levels and activity names. So these are activity WBS. This colored was WBS. You can just go and see this one are WBS. And under, under that WBS, I have just assigned a level so I can apply a filter. So you can also do that one the same as I told you in activity sorting in WBS sort I told you in the previous video. Now in this if we see here all these are activities the other one are activities. Now, now we will copy and paste into the next new sheet. Select this all control C and copy in the next sheet. So here, here I have copied all, all my WBS and activities. I will add uh, two columns here. One I need here WBS code and other one I need activity ID. Here I need activity ID because activities are added here also. So I need their IDs also here. I will just go here and WBS code I need to assign to the that activities which I have already created here. Now what I will do from my Primavera P6, I will go here in the WBS. I will control A, control C and I will just paste there. And here you will see all the WBS have been pasted right now here. And I will copy this column and paste in front of this activities. And now you can see here, these are the WBS names and these are codes. And here I have to import all these codes. I will just go here and see that this activity have this WBS code, this uh, WBS have, name have this WBS code. I will paste this one. So this will take too much time. I can just do for one one also and I can just uh, do for multiple also. So we will apply VLOOKUP here is equal to VLOOKUP. And now you can see here VLOOKUP is equal to this one column. And what is the range? We will select the table range. Now we will select that second column WBS code. I need it. I will press two. Then I need exact match. And now drag down. And when we click down, you can see all the values have been. We look up here. The next step, I will just copy all the columns paste as value. And the value have been pasted. I will press shift down, control D, shift down, control D for all activities. So I will just fill down for all activities. 
here you can see I have just dragged down by control D. First of all, I have just pressed shift and then select drag down and then I have pressed control D. And now you can see here all the values have been just created in front of the activities and WBS. Now I will just select all these activities and filter this one and I will select here only the only the numbers levels and I will just uh, remove the blanks from here in front of each WBS. I don't need any WBS code here. And now select all press OK. You can see only in front of activities. There are WBS codes. The next step I will create activity ID. The activity ID have also simple. I will create activity ID on the base of level two. Here you can see level two here and in front of level two, I will just create uh, like PHCD. That's the project name. And then for milestone M, then one same. And I will just go here format. So there will be no duplicate here. If there are duplicate value, it will be shown here the red color. And I will just go here and write as G for general and E for engineering, P for procurement. And the next one, C for construction, the next one O and then next one last one I will add here R. Here you can see different IDs have been created. Now I will assign that one to activities. Now you can see this one here. I will just go here. Can you see here all the WBS level and I will just go here on the bottom. And activities now both two have been added now. I will just go here down. There is some mistake. I will just create this one. I will just drag down up to the next level. Just drag down up to the next level. Some IDs will be missed, but don't worry about that one. We don't need that one. We can add after that one or we can crush our schedule after that one. So we don't need that one. Just go press double click here down. Now double click here and the last one double click here. And now we will just filter for the blanks here. If there are blanks, we will click on the blanks. We will remove that one because we don't need that IDs here. Here you can see here. Our all activity IDs have been created for the activity names. The last one step, I will remove that one. I will just see all the activities have been created and their IDs and their WBS code have been assigned in this way. Now go for the desktop, which I have just exported this file in the initial video of double click the file. Here we have a columns, activity ID, activity status, WBS code, activity name. We will add here all these data, which we have created here. First of all, I will add here activity. Activity ID paste as a value activity WBS code. The second one WBS code here. The third one activity name. So I am just importing multiple activities with their specific WBS codes. So here are some spaces. You can just select all and control F 
replace with the space zero space replace all so all the spaces have been removed now also you can apply trim command is equal to trim that command can be also used we will just double click down not started for all activities now control s save close this file now open primavera p6 here you can see only one activity have been shown i will just import xls file next import from desktop there is the activities which we have exported next activities next update existing project in the import action we will select the project which we want to import for existing finish when we finish you will see all the activities will be added in the project we will close can you see all the activities have been added in the desired under the wbs can you see so this is our today's content how to add multiple activities or how to add bulk activities in primavera p6 with the with their specific wbs and how can you assign with activities with wbs and import into primavera p6 thanks for watching our video if you have any query you can text us on our whatsapp number that have been given at the end of this video visit our site for more videos www.sopidemi.com keep watching our videos thanks